Hello there! Welcome to The End Game, a discussion about the importance of looking for raid, escaping it, and raiding in general. My name is Tusky, and in this video we're going to discuss why making LFR your end game experience is one of the worst things you can do at max level in World of Warcraft. Before we begin, let me quickly cite my experience. I started raiding in the Burning Crusade and poked my nose into Karazhan a little bit. Wrath of the Lich King was where I really got started, and I left that expansion having defeated Ice Crown Citadel normal and heroic, save for the Lich King on heroic because bloody hell that fight was hard. In Cataclysm, I raided up to the Firelands, defeating Ragnaros on normal mode before taking a break shortly before Dragon Soul was released. In Mists of Pandaria, I participated in a full clear, save for Lei Shen, of the Throne of Thunder on 25 man normal. I'm now in a normal mode guild, and as of this recording, Garrosh bloody well dies tonight. I will drag my guild, kicking and screaming through that fight. We are so bloody close. Anyway, let's discuss things. Most players in this game have experienced LFR. Just about everyone knows how much of a nightmare it is. However, imagine for a moment if you could remove the toxic element of LFR completely. You could enter a perfectly friendly, chatty group and go right through the Siege of Orgrimmar together. Sounds great, right? Wrong. Why? Because there's no challenge in LFR. None at all. But that isn't a big deal, right? Wrong again! Gaming in general, not just WoW, is about challenge and fun. For so many players, the two are the same thing. Without challenge, they can't have fun. And this resonates with just about everyone that plays video games. Games are designed to challenge you in some way. Even if that challenge is really easy, it's important that it exists. This challenge, the overcoming of an obstacle, is one of the greatest achievements that video games have worked towards. No other form of media can challenge you the way a video game does. To quote the great Dara O'Brien, you cannot be bad at reading a book, you cannot be bad at listening to an album, but you can be bad at playing a video game, and the video game will punish you and deny you access to the rest of the video game. The strive for success, to access the rest of the video game, is one of the strongest and most important aspects of gaming. How does this relate to LFR, you ask? Surely you can see already. There's no challenge in LFR. It's easy if you're even slightly competent at the game. The only challenge is the other players. This is why LFR is the worst endgame you could possibly hope to achieve. You'll spend the remaining months until Warlords of Draenor in LFRs, in what Blizzard have called tourist mode. You're not a tourist, you're not a guest, you're here to stay. You bloody well pay for the right to stay in this game. You can achieve so many awesome things by getting out of LFR. Now, a lot of players have, and that's awesome. But it can be scary, I grant you that. I remember the first time I entered Karazhan, a raid, it was scary as hell. But working past that, I discovered a vastly satisfying challenge, and so can you. Start entering flex groups, a lot of you probably already have. You pug flex, maybe. Great. Flex isn't superbly hard, but it's not LFR and it's a great start. However, the best thing you can do is to get into normal mode raiding. So many players do already, and it is massively satisfying. Sure, you can breeze through the first six or seven bosses easy, but then you hit the wall. The dreaded wall of progression content banging your head against it over and over again, repeating the fight over and over and over until you break the wall and you win. This sounds like hell, right? Trying to overcome some boss in a video game trying upwards of a hundred times. That's method style raiding, right? The super high level for really big nerds that don't have anything else to do? No, not at all. Anyone can get into normal mode raiding. You just need to be prepared. Now, I'll say it. Gear does help. But it is not everything. Most raiders worth their salt know that the player is infinitely better than the class, than the gear. A player that knows what they're doing, that is willing to improve, that is friendly and meshes with the team, that kind of player is welcome in any normal mode raid team regardless of their gear. Gear will come with time. Becoming a better player and becoming a nicer person will take a lot, lot longer than gearing up your best in slot list. Now, you may say, ah, that sounds great, but I just don't have the time. This is perhaps the only excuse that I will accept. If life forces your playtime to be in one hour bursts or you can only play for a couple of hours a week, then yes, you probably won't be able to normal mode raid. You probably won't even be able to flex raid. Well, maybe. But any other excuse, skill, gear, cowardice, 
anything is not an excuse. Here's what you need to know to get into normal mode raiding. First, and most importantly, be confident. Know your class, know your role, know other classes and other roles. Be flexible and friendly and kind and think of others. Chat, be nice to other people on vent, maybe sass them a little bit, I do that all the time. Second, show that you care. Work on your legendary cloak. As much as I wish it weren't, it is so helpful for normal mode raiding. Gem and enchant every piece of gear you have. Use icy veins and ask Mr. Robot to figure out exactly what build you're going for and get it done. You can find links to those two sites in the description. Next, get some experience. Try a pug of normal mode, although gear may be an issue for that. Try joining a friend's guild run. Get yourself on their list of backup raiders, even if you're not in their guild. Use things like Open Raid and OQ to find and make yourself groups. Finally, apply to a guild. Be confident when you apply, but don't lie. If you don't have experience, tell them. Honesty is so important. But maybe you have a guild already. Fair enough. Find a community. They are all over the place, especially with cross-realm raiding now possible. It's possible that another guild may take you into a big progression raid if you end up being a really good backup raider. Again, use Open Raid and OQ to find people. I found one of the best warlocks in our guild in a flex, and he ended up coming over to our server and joining our guild, and he is now involved in the raid team full time. You can do this kind of thing too. And when you're actually there in normal mode raiding, enjoy it. It is some of the best content in the game, and it's hard, it's challenging. Yes, it can be frustrating, but when you overcome that challenge, and you beat the big bugger into the ground, and you win. That is one of the greatest feelings you will ever experience in this game. And when you feel it, the thrill of finally beating that bloody boss and seeing him smash into the ground, you'll be hooked. Forever. That's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it and found it helpful. If you have any thoughts, make sure to leave a comment below and like or dislike the video. I'm always after feedback, so let me know what you think. You can contact me using the links in the description or just leave a comment. Make sure you subscribe to catch my videos as soon as they come out. Thank you very much for watching and I wish you the best of luck with your exploits in the world of Warcraft. Nuke him, nuke him, nuke him. No, send us down but she can raise yep. everything. Nuke Do him. Yes! 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 Fucking yes! hell, he did it! Yes! Oh my god. <laughs> oh! Fucking justice! Oh my god. Justice! Fucking hell, we did it! Justice! Oh, yes!